Hello, my name is Arndt Gandorfer. I'm professor of ophthalmology. and I'm here today to discuss EasyFaco technology. Well, EasyFaco is a new technology developed by Oertli which applies the laws of physics to create a new fluidics approach that enables the surgeon to do phaco emulsification very safely and easily. For ideal cataract surgery you should have a constantly stable anterior chamber. You must have a good followability of the nuclear fragments. The holding force of the nuclear fragments must be high. You should have a good energy coupling between the nuclear fragments and the phaco tip. First of all, followability is so important because you don't want to have turbulence in the eye and in the, in the interior chamber. Um, this is especially important as you want to save the corneal endothelium not to be damaged during surgery. Holability is important because you want to have a good energy coupling. So you do not want to have repulsion of the fragments from the phaco tip. The chamber stability is very important during the procedure. You can achieve this by a high flow into the eye. So you must have a high inflow capacity with your instruments. With easy phaco, the main change lies in the new design of the phaco tip. The design of the phaco tip has been changed in three, mainly in three ways. First is the aspiration funnel has been made narrower. And this, according to hagen posseys law, gives you the chance of enhancing the resistance of flow in the event of an occlusion break. You do not have to be afraid of surge at all. On the other hand, if you do have a narrower aspiration funnel, Active aspiration is not affected by this, so you can apply very high vacuum settings. The second change that had been made is at the mouth of the phaco tip. This has been enlarged and the area that is responsible for phaco emulsification for energy coupling has been enlarged therefore. The third change is related to the infusion line. Given that the aspiration funnel has been made nar narrower, there is more space now for the infusion line, giving you a high infusion uh, capacity, which is around six-fold higher than compared to uh, standard conventional tips. So you're winning a constantly uh, stable anterior chamber. You have less energy, less ultrasound energy to be applied as fluidics is working for you. So fluidics is responsible for the very high followability of fragments as for the holdability and that gives you the chance of a very good energy coupling. So in the end you're saving ultrasound energy. Easy FACO technology is uh, available in three different incision sizes. So the COMIX tip is 1.6 to 1.8 millimeter. The ESOFACO 2.2 tip ranges between 2.2 and 2.4 millimeters. And there is uh, the accelerator easy tip 2.8 millimeters. So uh, all these incision sizes are available. On this video you can see how the fragments are magnetically held and locked to the tip of uh, the easy FACO tip. And you also can see how the energy coupling is optimized there. So the high followability uh, creates a cone of uh, fluid movement to the aspiration funnel. And then the energy coupling is perfect and uh, the nuclear fragments are emulsified. Well, high fluidics can be applied safely because of the laws of physics. hagen posseys law shows that if you create a capillary, a more narrow, a narrower aspiration funnel, then you are not at risk of surge if the occlusion breaks. So 
On the other hand, active aspiration is not affected by the narrow aspiration funnel. So this gives you two advantages. You can apply high vacuum rates and you have the safety not to be at risk of surge. While there had been some concern whether or not high fluidics do have an impact on the physiology of the corneal endothelium. Professor Menapache from Vienna has carried out a study investigating this in detail and what he has told me was that there is no effect on the corneal endothelium. So you can apply easy FACO very, very safely and the high infusion capacity does not affect the corneal endothelium in an untowards way. While FACO bones are not an issue, for two reasons. The first one of which is you only apply energy when you have occlusion. So you use less ultrasound energy than in times before. Second reason is due to the high influx and the high infusion capacity, so there is instant cooling. So I've never had a burn and colleagues told me they do not have it either. Well, easy FACO technology has a very short learning curve because there is no change in your setting at all. The only thing that has changed is the design of the tip. So as you're used to, you can use your coaxial technique as you did the years before. EasyFACO is also perfectly uh, suitable for premium IOLs because it gives you a very atraumatic and very standardized operation procedure. Easy FACO technology is also suitable for beginners because it's a very standardized and a very safe technique to apply FACO emulsification. If you ever had the chance to experience Easy FACO, you will never go away from it.